Where's your boiler? Is it in the loft or are you thinking about moving the boiler from downstairs up there? This video will show you all the good bits and the bad bits, the pros and the cons of what you should know and what to look out for. Advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that you're going to save one cupboard space of about 600 mil wide in the kitchen. That's it. The disadvantage is that the install cost is going to be a lot higher, at least £300, because it's going to need two people to lift the boiler up through the hatchway into the loft area. You're going to waste a lot of water. You're going to use much more gas than necessary. It's much less efficient. Only a telescopic ladder can be used, no steps, and the tread load must be at least 160 kilograms. There needs to be a handrail from the hatch to the boiler, boarded sheets to the boiler, 22 mil pipe lagging on all the pipes except the gas doesn't need it. A fixed light also has to be done in the loft. Condensing pipe must also be lagged. Furnox antifreeze, which is A11, must be added. If you're standing at the kitchen sink and turn the hot tap on, the water has got to come through the street garden, past you, the kitchen, the bathroom, into the loft, across the loft to the boiler, and then it's heated up, and the return journey is going to be across the loft, past the bathroom airing cupboard, down to the kitchen sink. That's going to be a huge wastage of water and, of course, gas. Only boilers with factory-fitted frost protection can be installed in an unheated area. The installer must also fit a secondary frost protection system to protect the pipes. And that will be a frost thermostat set at 5 degrees, 300 mil to the left or to the right of the top of the boiler, and a pipe stat which is fitted on the return pipe set at 25 degrees. Every week the homeowner should check the water pressure and make sure that there are no leaks, especially in the winter time. And as with every gas appliance, it should be checked once a year by a registered gas engineer qualified for boilers. The other thing to note that there may be a requirement for an external expansion vessel, and that would be fitted on the return pipe between 12 and 20 litres in size. Obviously, the telescopic ladder should be the minimum of 160k and antifreeze and water quality should be checked on an annual basis and recorded in the benchmark page. Each manufacturer will provide the statistics of how the boiler should be performing and how much gas it should use per hour. And that's called the Gas Rate Calculator and Guide app. So that's compulsory for every single gas safe engineer. The other one is the Gas Pipe Sizing Calculator. And that's our sort of sea blue app. And that will tell the engineer whether the size of the gas pipe going to each appliance is correct to feed it flow rate and pressure. And obviously, absolutely important that that one is used on every single install or if the engineer suspects that the boiler is not performing as it should do. So these two apps are required. Our yellow fault finding book is jam packed with information for the engineer or even the home owner of what's going on with the boiler very easy to follow flow charts to find out which part is faulty and needs attention to as well as how to test pcbs pumps and all the popular faults 
diverter valves, sequence of operation, expansion vessels. This is a really good book written by me, George Stachak, who has been an engineer for 45 years and a trainer for 20. So well worth having for the engineer. Don't leave home without this book. It will definitely help you to find the fault faster, sooner and more accurately. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any comments, please leave them in the section below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels. I normally release one on Friday at 6 o'clock in the evening. Thanks for watching and take care.